I'm Allison. And I'm Brianna. Here's what's happening at HMS. Harry Potter Club starts today, right after school. Disapparate on over to Mrs. Nelson's room to join the fun, but watch out for the theaters. Do you have what it takes to be part of the House Council? House Council applications are available in Coach Pulis's room, 410, starting this week and are due October 14th. Each house will include a 7th grader and an 8th grader council member. So what will the House Council do? The House Council will plan house rallies, create rewards for house winning houses, perfect house chants, create plans for other house events, and House Council meetings are once a month on Tuesday mornings. And that's the news. I'm Allison. And you're not. All right, Rock and Dada, we need to do this. This six weeks, we're going to win. So give it your all, and we can do this. Okay, Al Turismo, you're my team. And also Layton's. But still, I didn't wear my Al Turismo shirt, but I'm wearing black, so that counts for something. We can do this. I don't know what Layton's talking about. We're going to win, so. Yeah. It's a video. You, know, you guys need to get your head in the game, because we got lost. We need to at least get second or third. I don't know. Hello, Mishima. That's the queen of the school. I command you to win. Don't disappoint me. Make me proud. Hello, River. We are the dreamers. Dream that we can win this. Dream that we can rise above ours. Sorry, River, but you're going to have to keep dreaming. Tasai is the one! We are the champions! We have won, we're going to do it again! Come on! Also, we have to win this six weeks because everyone thinks they're going to win, but they're wrong. We have to be a peacock. We have to be strong. Esperanza, I'm sure we're going to win. If we do win, I'll give you all free Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome to another episode of Lyricy with Layton. Today, I'm being joined by our guest star, Ben. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Layton. Good. So, uh, what book have you brought in today? Well, this is The House of Scorpions by Nancy Farmer. Hmm, I like that book, actually. I've read that before. It's a really good book. Um, so, I got some questions I want to ask you. Maybe you know how this goes. So, first off, what draws the reader into this book and hooks them? Well, this is a book of adventure and acceptance, so... You get the whole point. So, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. It's attention. Um, second, um, what type of person would want to read this book? Well, just any person who likes fantasy or adventure or just that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> stuff. That's always good. So, what did you learn about yourself through reading this book? Well, I learned that all people can't accept the fact that there are some different people in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, can you give me a brief summary of the book? Yeah. So the House no, of Spo no spoilers, no spoilers. Dang it. <laughs> so the House of Scorpions is based on a Mexican, a futuristic Mexico where there are clones, mind-controlled animals, and humans. And in the midst of all of that, a boy named Matt, who is the clone of El Patron, is trying to find himself. And then it's deep. That's very deep. Uh, so last but not least. One out of five stars, how would you rate this book? I rate it five stars. It's good. really good. Mm -hmm. So that's unfortunately all our time again on Lyricy with Layton. Thank you so much, Ben, for joining us, and thank you all for watching. If you want a chance to star on Lyricy with Layton, go to Mrs. Moorhead's room, ask for a, a cue card, and write a summary of the book that you read this six weeks, and you might have a chance to star on Lyricy with Layton. Thanks for watching.